Hi guys! So today's video is going to be me sharing a few tips and tricks that I have picked up on health, fitness, and motivation to get your butt to the gym because I, I'm not gonna lie, I've had a love-hate relationship with like fitness and like working out my entire life. Like I always did sports and stuff but that was like the extent of my working out. Like I didn't do any like weight training. I, I just played like soccer so I like had really developed like a lower body but then like my, my upper body was still super scrawny. And I mean, that's what I'm working on right now, but yeah, like I've been going to the gym seven days a week lately to try to get this whole situation under control because like the scrawniness right now is just too real. Like, wh where's the muscle? Why is it? It's, it's getting there. It's getting there. So yeah. So basically these tips are going to help you um, if you are just starting to work out and you kind of like don't know where to go with your workouts or maybe you... Um, want to start working out and you're looking for some motivation or you don't know where to start or even if you are already kind of seasoned at working out but you kind of want to see if you can supplement your workouts in some way because I mean you can never stop improving so yeah so I will be sharing with you some of my tips and tricks trick Wow I can't like I had too much coffee today I guess because I'm I've literally been tripping over my words this entire like day and like I just had, I had a lot of coffee because I had a written exam for one of my summer, for like my summer class because I just had to take a summer class because you know why not just get it out of the way and yeah okay I'm just I'm I'm rambling now but yeah so let's just get into this fitness video so we can all just be super buff and make in the words the Hodge twins all kinds of games. So tip number one is the one that I'm sure everyone if they have ever watched a fitness video on Instagram or on YouTube or just heard someone that knows a lot about fitness is it's a lifestyle change not a diet because think about it why 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 do diets not work so you eat really clean and you maybe you work out regularly for a whole month and you're just like oh sweet I fit into my like my skinny jeans or whatever you're trying to whatever goal you have and then you're just like sweet okay I'm done and then you just kind of fall off the wagon and go back into those unhealthy habits and then what happens you gain all the weight back so it's honestly like you need to change the way you live your life you need to eat healthier you need to work out regularly and not just like give up randomly or just stop trying you know like I'm not saying like never have a cheat day like I have or like a cheat meal actually or yeah cheat day cheat meal whatever suits your fancy whatever for whatever goal you're trying to reach like I give myself one cheat meal a week on Sundays and I'll have like my nice bowl of Panera mac and cheese and you know what it keeps it makes it gives you something to look forward to you're just like oh yeah working hard all week long and then I can have that one cheat meal or I can have that donut at the end of the week or something like that and it just like it kind of like motivates you to like work harder so it's like you feel like you earned that cheat meal or that cheat day or whatever and yeah so honestly you need to think about it as you're you're starting fresh you're start you're you are redoing your life and you are going to now live a healthier lifestyle and also indulge a little bit on special occasions or if you earned it so yeah so you always have to remember that it's not a diet because diets don't work lifestyle changes do work boom the second tip that I have for you guys is to set a goal. So I wanted, like for me specifically, my goal was that I wanted to um, improve my upper body strength as well as, um, as well as once I got that up, cut and make myself look more, more toned and lean because like up until this point I was in like my bulking phase so I wasn't really working on looking like super cut and super jacked I was just kind of trying to build muscle which in order to build muscle you kind of had to gain weight which I know kind of scares a lot of girls because you're just like oh my god I'm gonna get fat but no it's, it's all it's all good it's all worth it because you need to get kind of have those extra calories to feed your muscles so that you can make them bigger and then after that then you can cut off the excess body fat then you look super toned and super ripped what's up cat how you doing? Looks like Cat wants to be in the video. AKA Kokomo. AKA the little rebel spy over here. That's what you want. You want to have a goal to work towards so that you're not just kind of like doing things and you're just like, oh, okay, when do I stop, you know? So you always want to have something to look forward to, something to work towards, and then that way you can track your progress as well. My third tip is one that basically like 
is something that I know a lot of girls struggle with and it's gonna be weird to hear it out loud if you're new to fitness but guys and girls should train exactly the same and by that I mean lift heavy like you're not gonna get like a, you're not gonna grow a booty or you're not gonna get like ripped abs or some nice toned arms if you're just lifting body weight you're gonna get thin and maybe you'll get like really like You'll look toned, but you're not gonna have those like, that like Michelle Lewin booty. Or, if you know who I'm talking about. If you don't, look up her Instagram, cause she's my booty inspiration, Michelle Lewin, and my ab inspiration. I'm working towards that too. But yeah, you should be lifting heavy, heavy weights. Like you're not gonna get anywhere by doing body weight for long. Like you'll get toned for a little while, but then after that, you're just gonna plateau. So if you wanna build those nice like, those nice arms and those abs and those nice toned chiseled legs then you gotta lift heavy like just just because all the guys around you look jacked and swole and it's really intimidating and you're just like i'm gonna look like an idiot in front of them if i'm doing the same exercises as them no one cares everyone is doing their own thing in the gym you're not gonna embarrass yourself i don't know how many times i've done something dumb and just no one noticed like i tried to do a clean which is basically like where you take a barbell you put it up to like your like shoulders if you're into crossfit or things like that or powerlifting you'll know what i'm talking about but basically it's like i tried to do a weight that was way too heavy for me and i would just i dropped it every time and no one cared so don't be afraid to lift heavy because it will get you better results than just body weight and if you mess up or if you if you think you're gonna embarrass yourself no one's gonna pay attention don't even worry about it you will be fine and like don't be afraid to ask for help either. Like, if you need a spotter or if you need someone to show you how to do something, people at the gym are generally really nice. So go ask for help or maybe, and maybe you'll find a workout buddy along the way. The next tip that I have is that you don't have to go to the gym every day. I know I do, but that's just because I have a certain goal set in my mind and it helps me feel better. But the more times you do go during the week, the quicker your results will be and the more results you'll get because you'll be fatiguing your muscles and then they'll have to recover and then therefore they'll get bigger and stuff like that. So you don't have to go every single day. Just go at least like maybe like start at like four times a week. You can split that between cardio and weight training. So it'll be like two days and two days, you know, just start small, but and then you can just move, you can gradually move up to more and more days if you want to and longer and longer workouts and yeah. So you don't have to go every day, but the more you go, the more results you get. My fourth tip is that abs are made in the kitchen. I can't stress that enough because I remember when I had a personal trainer, she was really surprised at how strong my abs were. This was like back when I was in like high school, like, ooh, like way long ago, like sophomore year, I was like 16. And she was like, wow, your abs are really strong. But I was like, I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm surprised too because I don't have any abs at all. And it's like, you, you can have that muscle down there, but you, you won't see it unless you eat like a clean and healthy diet because you'll be bloated, you'll be retaining water, you'll have excess body fat, or you'll have toxins. So if you, the more clean that you eat, the more you're gonna see your abs. Like I've really started to clean up my diet and I'm already starting to see a big difference in my abs. I can already see my like upper abs right now and I'm working on those lower abs because you know, those lower abs for girls. It's a struggle and a half to get those because that's where girls carry a lot of their body weight but yeah so abs are made in the kitchen so if you eat the more the cleaner your diet is the more you will see those nice washboard abs well ob but obviously you're still gonna have to like do some like toning down there too so don't neglect them either the next tip that i have is that if you're going to take supplements make sure you research and take the right ones for what your goal is like for me right now i'm just taking um, a protein and I actually decided to, to stop being vegan because of the goal that I have for my fitness. I wasn't getting enough um, protein and calories to try to kind of like, you know, supplement what I was doing in the gym. So I'm actually vegetarian right now. So I'm taking a whey protein isolate and I'm also taking um, aminos, which are like, or like BCAAs, which basically are like, they're going to help you power through a workout and help with recovery. And I'm also taking a multivitamin. So, I mean, if you want to take supplements, just make sure you research them and figure out which ones are best for your um, fitness goals. Or if you even need to take any at all, like maybe you just want to get into better shape. 
or like do a lot of cardio, you know? Like you're not gonna have to take like a protein powder. You don't need that. Or maybe you get, if you eat meat, obviously you're not gonna need to take as much protein powder or any at all if you're getting most of your protein from your food, which you should be in general. Maybe you just need to take a multivitamin or maybe you just wanna have a pre-workout so that when you don't feel like working out, you'll have energy, you know? So yeah, so just make sure you research and take the supplements that are right for you. Don't just like go off of like what your friend is taking or like what you saw some random person on Instagram from like shreds using. Like you don't need all those like fat burner kind of things. Like no, do, just do your research. The next tip that I have is to find inspiration on Instagram or YouTube. Like right now I am following Michelle Lewin. I definitely recommend her if you are really into fitness. She's really good. She posts a lot of videos that you can use in your own workouts. I also follow, um, uh, I follow, it's gonna sound so strange. I just follow, I follow a lot of girl fitness Instagram pages just because it's like, okay, I want to, I want to, I want to work towards looking like this or like that or like this or like that. You know, it's like good inspiration. So I really recommend finding someone that really inspires you. Like I said, I think my favorite is probably Michelle Lewin. I feel like she's every fitness girl's like dream to look like. She's just got it all going on and it's going good. And or just like look, even like I like on YouTube, I I watch the Hodge Twins videos. I love the Hodge Twins and I think that they're really helpful when it comes to working out and just giving like tips on supplements and stuff and they're also really funny. So I really recommend checking them out too. So I mean, yeah, like you don't just have to watch like girl fitness videos, like watch guy fitness videos. Like I said, guys and girls should train the same Maybe not at the same weight, but you should be doing those same exercises because we all have the same muscle. The next tip that I have is that when you go into the gym, know what you're gonna work out. Go in with a plan. Don't just like go in there and be like, oh, what am I gonna do? Cause then, then you look like that awkward person that's just like standing and staring. And then you just, you, you end up doing like a hodgepodge of like different exercises that it's kind of it's it's not as effective as if is as if you have like a plan. Like I split my days up for like like back and chest. I have back and chest day, uh, shoulder and tricep, shoulder tricep bicep day, and then I have leg and cardio day. That's how I split my days up, and so that way I know what I'm going to do when I go in there, and I can focus on exercises that focus on those body parts, so that I'm not like oh let me go do um, like some shoulder presses and then like go run over to like the bench press and do like a chest exercise or like and then after that I'll go do some abs like no like I, I it's better to concentrate on certain areas of your body so that you can make sure that you hit every muscle in that group and make sure that you get the best results that you can. The next tip that I have is that don't if you're trying to like lose weight, don't go based off of what the scale says. Go based on how your clothes fit and how you feel. Just because you could not even see a change in the scale because you could have gained muscle weight. I know that's like, I know when I first started working out, that was like my biggest fear. I was like, oh my God, I'm not losing weight. But I was like, wait, but why are my pants fitting better? I gained muscle versus like the fat that I was carrying the, or the excess fat that I was carrying before. So the scale, is a good thing to use to see if maybe you are losing weight initially and then maybe if you gain a little bit obviously if you've been working out that's not because you're like gaining fat weight it's because you're gaining muscle weight so use it as kind of like a reference but don't like like don't follow the scale like religiously like it's not like and besides like weight fluctuates every day like between like three to five pounds because of water weight or like girls if you're on your period oh my god like no like the scale is not your master that's the main thing and the last thing that i have to say is that everyone's progress happens differently like your friend could have a six pack in a month whereas you could have been working out for three and you could barely see your abs like i know that's like how how I am when it comes to upper body like my progress there is really slow because for I'm genetically inclined to put on a lot of muscle in my legs but not in my upper body which is why I don't see as much progress as maybe like the girl that's like working out next to me in the gym that just started working out like a month ago whereas, whereas I've been going for like three months like don't get discouraged just because your progress is happening slower than someone else's everyone works differently and that's all basically all I'm gonna say about that is that go at your own pace it'll happen and just literally don't give up
Oh! Also, bonus tip right here. For the, for the girls that are kind of afraid to lift heavy, because they think they're gonna look bulky or manly, it's not gonna happen. You're, if you're not taking like anabolic steroids, you're not gonna look like a man. You, you're just gonna look really, you're gonna look really toned and really nice, and I'm, you're probably gonna end up being one of those girls that I follow as inspiration on Instagram. So yeah, so it's a little bonus tip right there. Don't be afraid of getting bulky if you're a girl, because it's just not gonna happen. We're just not genetically, we are not going to put on as much muscle as say a man would. So we're not gonna have like giant boulder shoulders or giant biceps that you literally like you can't even put your arm next to like your body because your biceps are so big so yeah so don't worry about that and yeah so i hope you guys found these tips helpful and leave a comment below if you did and if you have any of your own tips as well and be sure to follow me on instagram and twitter and i love you guys and i will talk to you guys in my next video bye